For teenagers around our region, an anxious morning, a deep breath, then time to see if it's all been worth it. This year's students among the first to have taken new GCSEs with more content. I feel nothing. The majority of subjects are now graded by number, nine at the top. There were plenty of high flyers at King's Priory School in Tynemouth. I'm really, really happy. I got six nines, uh, three eights and two A's. Others, like Tom, were celebrating great progress. He has severe dyslexia. It feels like everything's ten times harder, but I worked hard for like five months just revising and stuff, and obviously it's paid off. The GCSE pass rate here in the North East has increased significantly this year to 64.5%, closing the gap slightly on the UK as a whole. The proportion of entries given the top grades here also rose to 16.7%, but it increased just as much elsewhere. Both the Children's Commissioner and the business group headed by former Chancellor George Osborne have called recently for more funding for schools in our region. That was repeated today. With the first elected mayor for the north of Tyne in May, we need to see real powers, including resources, going to that new mayor to transform education north of the River Tyne. We also need to see an opportunity area. That's the government's scheme to improve those areas with the most significant educational and disadvantaged problems. The North East doesn't have one at all. The nearest one is down in Scarborough in North Yorkshire. The government insists it is acting to close regional disparities. It's something we, we're concerned about. 86% of schools are now graded good or outstanding compared to 66% in 2010, but we are now tackling that 14%. And we want every school in every part of the country to be good or outstanding. At Framwellgate School in Durham, many got strong results today, but they're aware of the room for improvement. It's still a challenge for all schools, and particularly those in the north of England, to support students who come from disadvantaged backgrounds and perhaps have less support at home. Students say change should come from outside of the classroom too. Not many big businesses come up here, so there isn't much jobs and there's not enough people coming into schools and aspiring people. Good grades, of course, open doors for what comes next. It's been a day with much to be proud of, but there's still work to do to ensure youngsters here get all the opportunities they deserve.